All right, guys, we just got sat at the Luxor Buffet. I've never eaten here before. Again, I've heard super mixed things, similar vibe to the Excalibur. I've heard hit and miss, leaning towards the miss. That said, I want to do my own opinion. I'm starving, we haven't eaten all day. Let's go get something to eat. Okay guys, got our first bite. I just want to say first and foremost, the staff here has been really great with us. We asked if we could kind of be tucked away a little bit just because like, you know, filming and stuff. I don't like to bother the people while they're eating. Um, they accommodated us. We're in our own little section here. So thank you so much for that. Um, also, it is really busy. We got here around lunchtime, weekday, and it is really busy. But anyway, I got a few things here. I got some scrambled egg, um, another biscuit, which apparently I put on more meat gravy, which I don't know what I'm doing. So if you guys don't know, I don't eat meat. And yeah, I made a boo-boo already macaroni which i think i was supposed to put my own sauce on i didn't realize that uh spring roll some fried rice uh, a little bit of potato so anyway let's give it a quick little bite i'm gonna try this uh biscuit oh my god that's hard okay very hard very crunchy Try these eggs. Actually, these scrambled eggs, compared to Excalibur especially, are not that bad. It's for buffet eggs, usually buffet eggs are like terrible. I gotta say, these aren't that bad. Right, let's try some fried rice. Hmm. Not too bad. Okay, this macaroni, which again, I'm sure I was supposed to put my own sauce on. Yeah, I did a plain noodle, so that was my mistake. I should have put some sauce on it. One thing I also want to mention is nothing is labeled. And like, as I said, I don't eat meat, so I am apprehensive sometimes in situations like that because I don't know what I'm gonna end up with. Like this spring roll right now is a bit of a mystery to me, so it smells like vegetable, I hope it is. I think it's a vegetable spring roll. I hope it is. It's mushy. The spring roll? Mm. It's, yeah, it could be a lot more crispy for sure. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this plate up. First plate was average, but again, we did a two for one from my Vegas. So again, it's costing us like 15 bucks a piece. Oh, sorry, Cody's sharing my pizza. I didn't want to get a whole piece of pizza. Buffet pizza. It's a thicker crust. But yeah, it's not too, too bad. It tastes like bakery pizza. You had a little bit of meat on your plate. What do you think of the meat so far? It's okay. The bacon, you can definitely like have a maple flavor. It's kind of like middle of the road. When it yeah. Comes to, like crispy and crunchy. But it's okay. And, like yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, I mean, it's been good. Yeah, it hasn't been too too bad. Um, we're gonna finish these plates up. Take a look around. So we can get some more food. Check with you in a bit. Okay, second plate, you guys. I just feel like I got a bunch of rice dishes. The last section had a few options for me, but again, nothing's really labeled. So it's hard to tell what I can and can't actually eat. So I got some, I think, chile quiles, but I'm not really sure. It's kind of just everything kind of melted together. Uh, a few little nachos, some paella, 
uh, some Spanish rice, some refried greens, and some nachos. So let me give this Spanish rice a quick little try. With, oh, you know what I'm gonna do with the refried greens? Actually, there's a bit of a heat coming from the beans, which isn't too bad. The rice is kind of nice as well by itself. Mm -hmm. Not too bad combined together. It's paella. You know what, okay, that has like a, almost like a tap water taste. Maybe the rice was cooked in like a water that was not the best option. Try it again, maybe I got a bad. No, it's like a weird tap water kind of taste, I don't know. Let me try these chile quiles, I think that's what that was. I don't know, I hope, I hope that's what it was. I don't know. So it's sort of left over on the edges of the pan. I don't know. I don't know. Um, there isn't any sushi, which I was kind of like, you know what, there's a muscle here. Let's try this muscle. Mm. Yeah. One surprised me, there wasn't any sushi. So I was hoping there would be. I know sushi at the buffets is not the best, but I thought, you know, maybe as like a saving grace, maybe there'll be some sushi. There wasn't any. I'm gonna check out the salad section and maybe see if there's anything there I can quickly grab. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Let me try to finish this up though. It's nothing has been fantastic, I'm not gonna lie. But let me finish this up, see what they have over the salad area, and I'll report back after that, I guess. Alright guys, plate number three, the pickings are a little bit slim, and admittedly that is partially my fault, I don't eat meat, um, there's not a whole lot I can have, so on this plate I got some ceviche, uh, some an olive salad, which is interesting, um, I got some like little shrimps, um, a little sauce, I don't know what the sauce was, again, nothing's labeled, uh, some pita, tzatziki, this might be one of my last plates before I check out the dessert, let's uh, let's give this a try, so this is going to be just the those little crunchy pita pieces. It actually also looks like things are just kind of not being refilled as well. Okay, that's fine for like a snack. I promise. Uh, let's try the tzatziki. Yeah, tzatziki's nice. Good flavor there. Let's try the ceviche. You know what? Like, ceviche and I don't always get along, I think. I've been coming to Vegas for a long time. The first time I ever got sick and threw up was actually from some ceviche. So let's try this though. It was okay, like I probably wouldn't go back for more. Uh, these little sh cocktail shrimps. Again, I don't know what the sauce was. It wasn't like a cocktail sauce. It was like, it almost looks like something mixed with some kind of a mayonnaise. Sauce is okay. The shrimps are these, you know, like little tiny prawns or shrimps, whatever you want to call them. Mm. Not a whole lot of flavor. The sauce is not too bad. I love olives, so I'm gonna give this olive salad a try. The black olive. Mm. Not bad. Looks like there's some cocktail onions in here as well. Not bad. Again, nothing's like stand out, but it's okay. I'm gonna finish this plate up. We're probably I might see if there's any last minute things I wanna grab just to sort of fill me up. And then we're probably gonna check out the dessert, so uh report back then.
All right, so we kind of called it quits, I think, with the, the buffet. There just wasn't anything that I really, really was like super into. Rather than getting full and uncomfortable, we thought, let's just get dessert and call it. Cody got this mound of, <laughs> they had two separate saucer sections, sorry. This looks disgusting. This is blue vanilla and chocolate soft serve. I didn't see this one because I got a different one. I'll show you in a second, but I'm gonna give this a quick try. You know, it doesn't taste all that bad. It doesn't look very nice, but it's almost like um, chunks of ice in it. It's not like super, super like creamy or anything like that. It's almost like watery in a way. I got the vanilla, sorry, no, I got the banana coconut one. Um, let's see what this one's like. Hmm. So, very much like suntan lotion. Give this a try. It very much, not, <laughs> that sounds really bad. I kind of like that sort of tropical kind of taste to it. It's like, um, reminds me of vacation. Just that like very coconutty, banana y. No, no, this is like, so, it's soft serve. You know what it is? I don't know if it's frozen yogurt or something. It's definitely not soft serve because it's, see, I can't, it's not creamy. It's like chunky, icy. Like, honestly, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it's it, like, but. Yeah, like I wouldn't use a gelato. Well, like gelato ice. It's very icy. You know, yeah, you know what it tastes like? If somebody got a popsicle yeah, and like yeah. whipped it and like grinded it kind of up and like froze it. <laughs> Sorry about that. We had a little technical difficulty. Um, otherwise, desserts, again, they are not labeled. It's very hard to choose. Like, I don't know what this is. This almost looks like a creme brulee that they forgot to brulee. It's <laughs> just the creme. Um, I'm going to give it a try anyway, though. I don't know what that is. Um, it's got a very like hard jello-y type of texture. I don't know. Um, let's try the, uh, presumably this looks like tiramisu. It's all right, again, there's nothing, nothing to write home about. It's okay though. Okay. I don't know what this is. This almost looks to me like a cookie with like a marshmallow kind of on the inside. Almost like a s'more type of vibe. Um, let's see. Yeah. So it's really like a soft, soft cookie with a bit of chocolate on top. I think that's marshmallow. You want to try? Is that marshmallow? We're getting Cody to taste test for us. I think it's marshmallow with a cookie on it. It's not bad. Again, like, there's no major standouts with the desserts either. Everything has kind of just been okay. That's the best way to describe it. It's just been okay. Like, again, we did my Vegas for this. We paid, uh, was it $28.99, I think, for a weekday uh, brunch buffet. There's been nothing that I've said, oh my God, that's amazing. I want to get more of that. It's kind of all just been fine. Um, would I come back here? I think if I came back here and it's a similar situation that it was like a buy one get one type of situation, I probably would do it. If I would I pay thirty dollars for myself, I'm gonna say probably not because it just it's not really worth it for me, especially as somebody who doesn't eat meat. Like this options are very limited. In fact, things weren't labeled. It did make it harder for me to pick things to eat. That said, things that they do really well here is the decor. I actually, the decor is really great. I love theming in Vegas. I actually kind of miss that whole. I mean, I've only been coming here for what, 13 years or so. So I started coming here, I think, towards the, when things started kind of going away from the theming, the D theme, I guess you can call it. So I still really like that though. I kind of like, that's what I think of when I think of Vegas. So I do actually really like the decor in here. I think it's kind of fun. Um, service wise, they were really nice to us, kind of giving us this private area. I know it's a bit dark, so I so apologize that you can't really see everything as well. I just thought, you know, having a private area would be nice. But uh, otherwise, food wise, again, just okay. Um, nothing to write home. I'd say between this and the Excalibur, very much on par, I would say. There might have been a couple things that Excalibur I enjoyed more so, but I also need to remember the fact that Excalibur went very early in the day, so things were coming out a lot more fresh. I did find things here were empty a lot of the time. Um, not a lot of things being refilled, things like that. So again, no major standouts for me, just okay. Anything to add? Is that what your kind of thought was as well? Yeah, I mean, Cody, Cody, Cody got two plates in the beginning and kind of just called it. I mean, Cody can eat. <laughs> I think he just was like, yeah, that's fine. They also have the refillable drink station. So if you want to get yourself like coffee, pop, hot dog, chocolate milk, things like that, that's convenient as well. Just go grab yourself a drink. But again, otherwise, I'd maybe save it for the next time. Anyway, 
Uh, let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know if you guys have been to the Luxor Buffet before. What were your thoughts? Did you guys find any standouts for dishes I should have tried? Again, I know my palate's a little bit limited. Um, I probably screwed up and had some gravy or something that I shouldn't have had. I don't know. Anyway, let me know in the comments uh, what your thoughts were the Luxor Buffet. If you've been here before. Let me know what you think about these like food type videos as well. I know you see a lot of like hotel casino reviews, things like that. Let me know what you think of these like buffet type videos. Um, Please don't forget to like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. Share with your friends if they're thinking of coming to the Luxor Buffet. And uh, yeah, once again, it's been Daniel Spotlight, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.